Hello, uh, welcome to our show on fuel retailing in India. Uh, the stage is all set for re-entry of private players with government having deregulated petrol and diesel prices. We have with us Mr. Prasad Koparkar who is going to share his insights on how this is going to impact the sector. So Prasad, uh, with uh, decline in oil prices and diesel deregulation, how this is going to impact the re uh, marketing side of the uh, fuel retail segment? Do we see intense competition from private players? Yes, Abhijit, I think clearly, as you've said, you know, thanks to the sharp drop in crude prices, uh, we have seen that diesel is getting deregulated now after almost five years. Uh, and we see, uh, you know, private players becoming more active now. Uh, however, I think, you know, uh, your question whether it will be a very intense competition, my sense is it is going to be a little gradual. We have seen this experiment in 2003 and 2005. In 2003, when government deregulated the prices, you know, private sector came in very aggressively opened about 3,000 petrol pumps. But when prices started going up from 2003, uh, government again flip-flopped and went back and uh, started regulating the prices. And then the private sector were forced to shut down most of those petrol pumps. So I think given that kind of a uh, you know, history, we believe that uh, players will be a little slower and be cautious in terms of their plans. Okay. So how, how do you see PSU OMCs uh, this time around? Are they well prepared to tackle the competition? Absolutely. I think, you know, uh, if you look at, say, for 2003 and now, uh, the total retail outlets that time were about 19,000. It has almost tripled to almost 53,000 outlets. Uh, what has also happened uh, is, you know, I mean, some of the strategies that uh, private retailers uh, deployed in those days, PSUs have very uh, successfully copied those, whether in terms of, uh, you know, cashless cards, volume discounts, automation of the fuel pumps, multiple units, so that the customer waiting time is reduced. All those strategies have already been deployed by PSU. So I think some, some of the advantages that private sector had in those days, probably they will find it difficult to get. So we believe that it's going to be a much more, uh, you know, level playing field and the public sector is pretty much prepared to face the competition now. Okay. So how much do you see the market share of private players in a four to five year time duration? And what do you see the strategies that are going to be employed by them? Yeah, absolutely. I think in terms of prior, uh, the share of the private players, uh, you know, I mean, unlike 2003-04, when within one year they garnered almost 8% market share, uh, we don't think that is going to happen. Uh, we believe that uh, they will get maybe about 10 to 12% market share over a four to five year period. So it's going to be a slow grind. Uh, and in terms of strategies, I think clearly given that, you know, the, the competition is going to be much more intense now and public sector is well prepared, they will have to look at volume-based discounts, they will have to look at location-based differential pricing, uh, and possibly, unlike the earlier uh, experience, they will have to look at asset-intensive model also, where they will have to invest in the retail outlets rather than de depending on the dealers. So I think these are the strategies probably they will deploy. Okay. And uh, do you see any improvement in marketing margins because diesel is deregulated now? Yes, I think the experience, uh, you know, in India as well as global markets shows us that, uh, you know, once there is a deregulation, marketing margins do inch up. If you look at, for example, in India, uh, since deregulation of petrol uh, since 2010, the marketing margins have almost doubled from about 60, 63 paisa to more than one rupee now. Uh, so we, we believe that something like this is going to happen. If you look at even from a global context, uh, you know, I mean, India, we have uh, very few players, maybe five, six players today, as opposed to markets like US and UK, where you'll have anywhere between 10 to 20 players. Even markets like South Africa, you have about 15 players. And in those markets, what we have seen is that uh, once the sector is deregulated, the margins there are almost double. So in India, you have a mar margin of about 8 to 9 percent for petrol and diesel. In these markets, it ranges anywhere between 12 to 20 percent. So we believe that over the medium term, uh, we will see an expansion. However, over longer term, depending upon how oil prices move and uh, how really the private sector competition pans out, there might be some gradual decline in the marketing margin. Okay, so in the medium term, does this mean a significant improvement in profitability of OMCs? Yes, I think if you look at uh, you know the next one or two years, uh, we believe that the marketing margins will inch up significantly. And uh, for OMCs, uh, we believe that it can mean almost 25 to 27 percent upside in their uh, PBIT margins. So it's going to be a very good, I think, from a, that perspective. Deregulation is good, while competition will come in. 
even from a customer perspective i think customers are ultimately going to benefit with better service quality and better availability of fuel outlets so i think it's going to be a win win situation thank you prasad for sharing your views and thank you for watching crystal tv